welcome to another week on the show at webinar and like always i'm super excited about who we have this week um, to present to you because he is bringing another element that you can add to your business um, for your clients um, in their wedding industry or anything that you do but first before we get into all the details i want to know where everybody is signing in from i already see people in the chat um, we're obviously in sunny Gilbert, Arizona, where it is 115 degrees. The humidity is not too bad today, but it's still hot. Um, but where is everybody signing in from? Um, I know we already have Kiana in there. Um, I know we have some people in there from Baltimore, of course, because that's where our presenter is um, coming from today. Of course, Dallas, Dallas, Texas is always representing every week. Um, but guys, we're super, we just wanna have fun today. Is that okay? It's Thursday. I don't even know if like Friday is a thing anymore because I feel like days just run into one another at this time. Um, Tampa's in the house, but we're on the internet, guys. So sometimes we have technical difficulties and that's okay. Just remember, if something starts buffering, refresh your screen. Um, if that doesn't work, we are recording live. Um, you can come back to this link at a later time so that you can see what, what you missed out on. Um, let's see, we got more people coming in. We got Detroit in the house. Um, we got Philly. Oh, we got someone from India. I think she won the award today for how far she joined us, for how far away she is. Um, but let's get started. I'm going to introduce our speaker today. Um, we have Chip Dizzard coming to you guys today. Um, and if you ever want to feel like a star behind, he is going to make you feel like a star when he has you in front of his camera or his, or video recording you. Um, he not only captures the beauty of a wedding, um, but he also gives you the best gift that you can have, which is videography um, and recording live stream for others to be able to enjoy your day time after time. Um, and when Chip isn't behind the camera, you can ca capture him editing photos, um, maybe going to the movie, or my favorite part is when we get to see Chip in Arizona and leading some of the best photographers around the world in education and just sharing his knowledge. Um, he is like the hype man on stage um, and he has the most energy that you will ever experience, you guys. I mean, he walks into the room and everybody's smiling. Um, but without further ado, guys, welcome Chip. Get those virtual applause ready because we're super excited to have him here today. Hey, hey, thank Hello. you, thank you. <laughs> Hear me? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Maybe you can. I oh make yeah, sure you're good to I'm go. Here. Okay, great, great, Shamisha. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Shamisha, Jed, Todd, Chris, the whole team. I I know all you all you guys there at Show It. So I'm a big Show It fan, and I'm very very happy uh, to be here today, and to talk about live streaming. So this is going to be fun, right? I hope. Okay, good. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and put the PowerPoint up on the screen. The uh, um, what we want to do, Jed. We want to go ahead and and switch to that. So I just want to make sure. Uh, yeah, thank you. I see the chat. So I have my computer here, and I'm seeing people in the chat. So you see me. Don't worry. I'm not stockpiling anything. So people ask me, my God, what are you stockpiling? We 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 didn't prepare for the pandemic here at the house, but we're wor we're working on getting all of our stuff. We have three teenage girls here and they eat a lot, so I wanna make sure and uh, you've got everything. So anyway, so you see my presentation. Hey, I, got, I see a lot of people who I know, uh, Trine, Kiki, I see Anita, Qu Quinn and Marie, Phoenix, Michelle, uh, James. I see a lot of people. Our people are here in the house, okay? So this is called a home team crowd, right? This is a home team, but I'm, I'm excited about uh, presenting this topic, not only to people who I know, and uh, who will know me well, but to people who I don't know. So if I don't know you, I'm gonna give you a little bit about me. I'm not gonna PowerPoint you to death. I don't have a lot of slides here today, um, but I do, I'm hoping to bring a lot of value 
to you today. So I want to make sure I get you in and get you out. I don't like to be on these long webinars where people talk about themselves, but I'm going to talk about myself just a little bit here in the beginning. My boy Blair is on there. We'll be working with Blair and Trinae tomorrow, so I'm excited about that. So I know I better do a good job because I got a lot of pro videographers on here, right? So if I don't do a good job, I'm, my text message is going to be filled with um, 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 funny memes and other stuff. My DMs are going to be be very filled with a lot of stuff. So uh, I'm nervous now. Okay, I got the pros on here. All right. <laughs> he said, this is my show, Shabisha, to my old horn. Okay, so so again, my name is uh, Chip Desar. My background, this is one of the pictures that we did a wedding um, a little while ago. Actually, this season. So this season has been challenging for everybody. I don't know any wedding photographer or videographer who has has gone through a tough time. Um, we went from March to weddings being canceled, to postponed, to giving refunds, to doing this, to doing that. Um, and I just had a few things going on in March, and then all of a sudden, we couldn't do anything. I had brides call me crying. Um, everybody's probably had that uh, uh, this this season. But people can't get have their day like they wanted to. And um, my background is in church media. So I've been working in the church since. I'm going to show my age and my gray hair, of course, uh, in the late 90s. Okay, so a lot of you all were just uh, in high school or even uh, a speck in your parents' eye in the 90s, right? <laughs> if you weren't. Wow, you're here. <laughs> okay. All right. So in the late 90s, uh, I started. I remember when we had this thing called Y2K. That was 20 years ago. So that just shows you 20 years ago in 1999. Remember that song Prince said, we're going to party like it's 1999? I remember 1999, and I remember exactly where I was. And we thought the world was going to come to a complete end. We had to chain smoke detectors. We had to do all this crazy stuff. For you all people who don't remember 1999, hit in the chat for me and say 1999, okay? If you don't remember, if you don't remember, you like, man, say, Chip, you're old, okay? Chip, you're old, okay? <laughs> oh, well, okay. Monica, 1999, you're going to party like it's 1999. All right, so that's what happened. Uh, so, so what you say, what had happened was in 1999, I started with live streaming and 2000, 2001, we did live streaming in church, but we didn't dare think about a cell phone. We had a bulky computer. We ran wires, and we did all this weird stuff to get a live stream going on, okay? 1999. Blair, Blair, you were just born in 1999, probably, you know? Um, <laughs> he, was in, he was in middle school, maybe. You know, my friends were in middle school, okay? <laughs> I'm just telling my age here. So anyway, that's my background, church tech. All right, so I did a stream back in the year of 2000, uh, 2010. This was actually my first wedding in 2010, so 1999. You were in the sixth grade in 1999. My God, you know, <laughs> you're showing my age. So, okay, people were in the sixth grade in 1999. Where were you? My goodness. Okay, Monica is here. My name, all my friends are here. Um, this is a home team crowd, so thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You make me feel good. All right, all right. So what we want to talk about here is what I did this concert and wedding back June 1st. And um, this was a live stream. So this is how I look, a screenshot of it. And today's hashtag is stream with chip. So if you screenshot this on Instagram, do me a favor, tag me, and then put the hashtag stream with chip just so I can follow all of them on Instagram stories. And if you post on Twitter or wherever you post on Facebook, just stream with chip. Okay. So what we did back then in 2000, I'm sorry, in uh, 2010, okay? <laughs> Stream with you. Okay, Blair. Okay, so what we did in then, we used the church cameras, and this was a concert wedding. This was actually, when I tell this story, I think people know this story. Trinae, some other people may know this story. This is my first actual wedding I've done. I did. So 10 years ago, every anniversary. So I celebrated 10 years of wedding business in June 1st, just this past summer. What a way to set it off. Like, all my weddings were canceled, right? So what a way to set, set, set that off. So anyway, what had happened was, okay, I'm speaking incorrect grammar because my friends are on the stream. That's the only way I'm doing it. So if you watch this replay, just part of my French, okay? All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You see me making all these noise. So I think you're switching the camera. So what happened is that a friend of mine asked me to stream his wedding. It ended up being a two-hour concert wedding. 
my gosh, in two hours, he he really hood, hoodwinked me, led me astray, ran a buck. I was going astray. I didn't know what in the world. So we used this, but you see how many views it had, even to today, 163,000. That's a pretty good amount. You know what I mean? I have, of course, videos that are higher than that, but for a two-hour concert, no reception, just that. So I really learned how to do it and how to do live streaming back then. Hey, what's going on? My buddy Myron is on, so I got all my people here on this stream. Okay, so we started back then. So we started, like they said, from the bottom, now we're here. All right, now we have HD. Now we have great cameras. You see how this looked back then, but this was acceptable back in 2010. What were you doing in 99 and then 10 years later, 2010? I had no clue what I was doing. I just knew I was a church guy and I knew how to live stream, okay, because I, I figured out church. Then, so I got to this year and um, I had a good fortune of being ranked on Google as a, one a top uh, person because I had an article years ago in brides.com. And I'll talk about uh, just the marketing portion of this because you got to have the technical portion and then you have to have the marketing portion as well. And this was just uh, a wedding that we did on 6-5. Um, well, I don't know why it's at 6 5 2022. It was really on 6 17. It was in, in, um, in June. And she said, Chip was exactly the videographer I needed for my wedding. Due to COVID, our wedding went from 200 people to family only. We went to a live stream the ceremony, so everyone who couldn't attend, I was very accommodating, blah, 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 blah. We now have a wonderful video. Working with Chip was a fantastic decision. So this, I guess, I'm not tooting my own horn here, but I'm showing you that we got receipts. So when you listen to people, I'm really big about when you listen to people, whoever presenter is, make sure you see their receipts. If you don't see their degrees, make sure you see their receipts, okay? So that's what I say. Hey, Lynn, I see all my people here. So if you're in the chat, I'll shout you out. I, I see the chat going. So even if I don't know you, I'll shout you out because that's just kind of guy I am. Okay. All right, Shamisha, so we're going to go to the next slide here. Here. All right. Now, before I go back to that slide, what I want to do is I've been helping people live stream. And one of my uh, uh, say mentees, I help him out, uh, a, a company out in um, – New York, really good. A friend of mine, his name is Cal, his wife, Linda McQueen, great photographer, videographer, husband and wife team. He called me, he said, Chip, I need to learn how to live stream. And that's when I came to show and I said, you know what, I need to do a presentation to give people some basics of just how to put live streaming in their repertoire because you're going to need it. Um, you know, I could be selfish and hold all this information and, and put it out and, not, and, not, not, and say, hey, good luck, go on Google and find it on your yourself. But I said, no, we want to put it out there in the atmosphere. So here's one of my videos. Okay. So this is one of my guys, Luxor Films, that um, the chat's a little bit behind, but um, that he actually did a live stream of what I told him to do. One of the solutions, uh, one of the two solutions I'm going to present today to do the live streaming, and he did a great job. And he, he's actually doing some live streaming uh, for me as well when it comes to New York. Um, he's up in the New York area, and I'm proud to help him with that. Okay, all of that being said, now we can get into the meat of this thing. So, whew, it took a long time to get to all that. So, what we will, re what will we do today. So just three points. I don't have a lot of time. I don't have a lot of slides. So I want to get you in and get you out with the most basic stuff that you need today. Okay. So if you want to do this live streaming today, you're going to know what equipment to get. Okay. Learn the basics and then you'll learn how to market your services because you can have the equipment and make the investment. I think the thing with me is that I was hiring someone else to do a live stream for me and it was fine. We were doing, we were doing just fine. Um, I can tell you, uh, Trina and I can tell you, we were doing live streams, but and we were fine. We did one last year. We did them, but but, but I needed more control. I want to say I don't want to say I'm a control freak, right? Um, okay, if you don't see the video that I was playing, that's fine. Uh, we'll get show it to uh, to show it again. So if you if you can't see the video, that's not not a problem. If you, see, if you don't see the video, but I, I wanted to make sure that you see exactly um, what we were doing and how to market our services. Okay. So let's get right into it. Now, the basics of a live stream is what we have here. 
is that you have a video camera. This is with a computer. This is the time when I did this back in 2000, and when I did this in 99 or 2001, and even now you can do it this way. So you'll need a video camera. You'll need the, your video source, okay? A quality camera, but it could be your cell phone camera. If you're using a cell phone, you don't even go to step number two. You go to step number three. But if you're using a computer, I don't like doing it this way because to me, it's just too long and it takes too much to do, okay? So it takes too much to do and too long. So I am from the school of thought where I'm going to show you that this is what I do in churches. You have your video camera, you have a computer, your switcher, you hooked up to that, then you go into your broadcast, all right? So then you go into your broadcast, all right? So you can use software like vMix, Open Broadcaster, um, Stream, uh, OBS, uh, there's Stream, what, StreamYard, there's so many different streaming for Ecamm as we're doing today, and you get that. So we're hooked up into a computer, and then we're going to YouTube, Facebook, straight from the computer, okay? We're not going from a professional camera. We're going straight from the computer. And remember, if you can't see the videos, uh, I can ask Jed, and she'll make sure to play them again for us, and he can switch. He can do the switch. And switch. He doesn't have one of the videos, but the other video he does have. Okay, so that's one way. My way and what I'm going to suggest that you do when we're doing live streaming is that you do it without a computer, okay? Without a computer. So I have something, an apparatus, I put on the top of my camera, and it plugs into something called HDMI. And that's this is what I use. So I have two solutions. Uh, one, Blair, you know about this. Other people know about this that I use all the time. So um, the one, so, so when we're doing this, this is how I feel. Like I said, there are many ways to skin this cat, but I think this is the best way, in my opinion, like I said, to do live streams. All right? So you're going to have your camera, and this is just a video camera. It could be a mirrorless. It could be a DSLR. And then you have an apparatus on top of it to make sure, and it hooks into the back. And then that apparatus acts like a computer, a conduit. And you use your phone or your iPad or your Android to control it to make sure that everything is right. You can run everything from the apparatus up top, but it's better if you can do it um, from your iPhone or to your Android or your iPad, okay? Makes sense? I want to make sure that makes sense. All right, so this is what, without a computer, this is what I use, okay? It could be a Sony, it could be a Nikon. As long as it has an HDMI on your camera, if you're if technical, if you have an HDMI port on your camera, you can use my system, the systems that I'm suggesting, okay? So I use this A7 III, a Sony. I use usually a 24 to 70, 90% of the time, or a 70 to 200 lens if I'm far back, okay? That's what I use, all right? Now, I use a streaming encoder called a Slingsbox Studio or a Teradek VDU, okay? A streaming encoder called a Slingbox or a Teradek VDU, VDU, all right? So the audio, I use Rode Wireless Go, and then I use a mobile hotspot. Let me tell you why. All right, quick story. We were in this place um, just Saturday um, in Waldorf, Maryland. And if you know anything about Waldorf, Maryland, if you're not from the D.C., Maryland area, Waldorf is southern Maryland. And sometimes these new neighborhoods, the cell phone signals aren't the greatest and the Wi-Fi signals. Prior to that, we did a wedding in Bowie, Maryland, okay? And that's a pretty populous area, Bowie, okay? But what I realized, I was trying to do Wi-Fi from the lady's house. We were doing the Wi-Fi from the lady's house. And from the lady's house, what happened is that from her house, it was not reaching. So I panicked. So what did I do? I panicked. I was like, oh, my God. I panicked, and I didn't know what to do. And then what happened, or what I say, what had happened was is that I ended up going to get a hotspot, okay? I ended up going, I was like, okay, we got to get a mobile hotspot. So, again, if you're doing anything live streaming, you don't want to depend on the venue or the homeowner's Wi-Fi because the thing about out of your house and go out to your backyard or go out if you're in an apartment or condo, go out to your deck or porch, your Wi-Fi is not as strong as it is right closer to the hub of your internet. Yes, People now have extenders now. I had to buy my house extenders because I'm, my daughters are all over the place with Wi-Fi. So I had to get one in the basement, get one somewhere else. And we don't have a huge house, but it's big enough that where our hub for our internet is, is bad. So now we're in the, the era of people streaming live 
everywhere, okay? All right? So we are, we're, we're streaming live everywhere in backyards, not just venues. So I had to get that hotspot. And then the good thing about hotspot is that you pay no monthly fee and we don't need it. I cut it off. And then I, it's no fee, no cancellation fee. And then I put it back on. All right. So, and I have this off a list for you, a checklist where you can buy this and things like that. So I want to make sure we're good, good, good. That's good. People want to use knowledge in the back pocket. Now. Okay, great. Well, then make sure you got this. All right. So. This is my process, ladies and gentlemen. So my process is I might be officiant. If, if it's in a backyard, like this wedding hit is, was, I might be officiant. I have to because they're going to be the one doing all the talking. And then, like I did on this past Saturday, I told the officiant when the bride and groom read their vows, okay, I want you to step closer to them. Don't keep six feet. I need you to step closer to them because – I need them to pick up the mic. So here's another pro tip, guys. And a pro tip I want you to hear well. And I learned this from teaching, all right? You have to give people guidance. If you don't give people guidance, they will not, you will not get a good result. That's the difference between a professional and an amateur. No matter what you do, you have to give people guidance. So I told the officiant, I asked nicely, I said, hey, Michelle, um, Pastor Michelle, can you, when they're doing their vows, can you step up? She was behind this uh, uh, lovely flower uh, circular thing. I don't even know what to call it. I should know the name of it, right? So I made sure that she was that she stepped forward so they could hear the vows because without, without that, they weren't able to hear the vows. Then I have one camera in the back and a second camera on the side, okay? All right. So one camera in the back, second camera on the side. Now, if I'm doing a dual camera stream, that's how I use this one thing called Slim Studio. If I'm doing a one camera stream, I'm using the Teradek Video, depending on what, what I'm doing, okay? And then I double and I triple check everything. These people are paying good money, and I'm going to get to the money part about it, too. So I'm sharing everything. So I'm sharing everything. I'm not going to hold anything back from you because there's a lot of presentation you go to that people will say, hey, you know, you get this, and, you know, how much should I do this? I want to make sure you get all the information on it. Okay, so when you say you learn to stream with Chip, you learn it all. Okay, so I might be efficient, and then I make sure that I have one camera in the back. And usually, sometimes that it, it, that that may be an issue because when they stand up to the bride, you may be blocked. So you have to know where you are. So that happened with this wedding uh, per se. So unless you have a platform or some type of riser, so there's a stream. And these are all things you need to do prior to doing a live stream. If you're not a videographer, if you know anything about videography, just know when a bride comes down, we know that everybody stands. And if you're in the back and everybody's standing, guess what you're going to get? The back of people's head. So either you're going to buy something called Spider Pod, and that's, I didn't put that link in this uh, description, but I can, or you're going to get a riser. Hotels have them, other people have them. So with this one, it was not a big deal. I just, I just got my... Um, my tripod and I rose it up a little bit more. Okay. Okay. He's <laughs> every, all right. Guidance, guidance, guidance. Okay. Yes. Guidance. That's what we want here. So, um, so we might be efficient. I'm staying on this cause I want to make sure that you get this. Okay. So two people, one person can do it. You can go fast by yourself, but you can go further alone. I mean, uh, uh, uh far by yourself, but you go further with two people. So I always like having two people. Even if they hire me for one camera, I like having a backup camera because if something goes wrong, I'm there. I know a lot of people like to work Lone Rangers and things like that. You'll rarely, rarely see me working alone. Anybody, Blair, you know this. Other people who know this, you'll rarely see me work alone because I understand there's power with a team. I need to run some, somebody on my team. And if I'm not the photographer as well, usually we do package deals, photographer and videography. But if I'm not the photographer, I want to make sure that my team is there. And I just like to have my team. So I'm a control freak like that. Um, Trinae and other people can tell you that I'm, I'm, I'm not the easiest to work with sometimes. I'm a nice guy. But when it comes to business, we have fun and because we always have monkey wrenches coming in there. Okay? So that's the process. Any questions? I'm pausing, Shamisha. Questions on this process before I go and go some, go some more. I know I'm 20 minutes into this. My man Derek Davis is here. So I got my whole home team here with me. So my people, where y'all at? Okay. So any questions? I want to make sure my home team is here with me. If they got questions, you can go right ahead and drop them in the chat. I'm going to drink my water. 
to mind my business. Okay, let's go. Alrighty. All right. So now, so now I'm doing a little bit different. So now what I'm going to do is show you a quick video. I hope this plays here, Jen. So uh, how I use that wedding that I showed you with a couple, Kat and Matt, uh, um, we use a wired internet. So 99% of the times I will never use a wired internet. Can you hear me, Shamisha? I want to make sure you can hear me. Hello? I want, I want to show, can you see this video, Shamisha? Uh, yeah, go ahead and play it. Okay, I want to make sure. Here we go. So today I'm doing a little bit different setup. I have something like Ethernet cord in. It's run up from upstairs, and we're doing that, and we're running that. Instead of going Wi-Fi, we're going in. This is actually the best way to do a live stream. If you ever have the chance to get a long cord, and I will go and look at the B-roll and see if you go up and you look at how the cord is running up. All the way up in the house, and it's coming down right into the back of the box. Because I was doing Wi-Fi, and this is actually the best way to do it. The second best is Wi-Fi. The third best is a uh, hotspot. That's not the best. That's what I did the other for the other uh, wedding that you saw. So today is Ethernet, and we're streaming um, at 1080. So that, well, that means that's the highest quality because I'll have the highest signal. So I don't have to worry about Wi-Fi, anybody else getting on. So I'm going to have a dedicated line for that. So I'm also doing a better audio situation. So just so you look, I'm going to just turn this camera here. I'm using a Sony, and I'm using a wireless system where I'm going from here, and then the pastor is going to have a mic. Because right now, you hear a lot of background noise, and there's a waterfall right there. And from here, I don't want to be back here and getting that waterfall. I want to get clear audio with the pastor and make sure I mic him. So that's going to be wireless. One big thing is you have to make sure everything is charged. This machine, these, camera, just everything is charged. Or you won't go the night before. So you have to make sure. So that's all right now. Let's get to this way. Okay. I don't know if this were playing correctly, Shamisha, but if it wasn't, that's fine. We'll we'll send it out again. So I'm I'm trying to play a, a, a stream on a Skype thing. So I want oh, to show Joy, you. I want to um, show you. I want to show you my next my process with um, how I set it up using Show It and uh, how I set my stream up. This is about a six minute video. Uh, maybe Shamisha, you can play this, and Jed, you can play this on your end. I sent you all this video, and maybe you can play this from your end. Yep, and we're just, gonna uh, put me. We're going to cue it in and play it from our end so it plays a little smoother. Yeah, I want you all to play this video for me. Okay, perfect. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I actually set up a YouTube live streaming. So I'm going to go to my channel. This is my YouTube channel for my um, wedding business, and you see different live streams down here. So we're going to go under YouTube Studio once you log in. All right, so once we log in, and I create all my graphics and things in Canva, and I'm using uh, Show It. So we're going to go under here. And we hit create and then we're going to hit go live okay or you can go right here go live either way so once you go live you're really not going to go live you're going to schedule it so i can use my stream with the last use settings but i'm going to hit dismiss this real quick and then i can use any of these settings so you see i've set this up prior but right now for this tutorial i'm going to hit dismiss and what i'm going to do i'm going to hit create title and i'm going to call it uh tara and Anthony and I'm gonna make it public now remember unlisted is for people that just want the link they can view only I can view so I have some clients that don't want it public so we will just do unlisted so I'm gonna do public and this is just what I have on the stuff on on the um, on and just automatically populates people in blogs is fine I'm gonna schedule it for later and it's gonna come on for August 1st and it's going to be a 6 p.m. Eastern time. So we're going to do 6 p.m. And we're just going to find that time right here. And then we'll go from there. Enable monetization, leave that up. And then, of course, this is a key. Upload a custom thumbnail. Now, I'm using Canva. I have an entire live stream kind of situation, YouTube. And this is a thumbnail that I'm using from the engagement shoot. And if it's something else. So I'm going to upload this custom thumbnail. So once I upload this custom thumbnail, uh, let's go Tara Anthony, then you'll see that. And then what I'm gonna do, hit no, it's not made for kids. And then I'm gonna hit create stream. So once I create stream, what I'm going to do, you'll get the link right here. And you see this button here, you leave all this stuff here. Don't even worry about this. 
because with your streaming software, it's gonna pick all of this up once you create the event, okay? So I'm gonna create this event, I create the event, okay? And I'm not gonna even do preview or edit. If I wanted to go here, I could edit it and do stuff like that and go from there and I can add more stuff in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click right here and then I'm gonna hit copy this link right here. This is what, I usually don't embed it because embedding, it just doesn't work well for me. I'm gonna copy this link and now I'm using a site called Show It. So you could be using Wix, you could be using Squarespace, but what I do on my site, I make them come to my homepage and that's part of the marketing that you want to learn and make sure that you get, okay? So I click here, actually I wanna click the entire thing. This is Show It, so if you don't know Show It, don't worry about it. So what I'm gonna do, click Actions, and then I'm gonna hit configure link, and then I'm gonna hit page uh, URL, I'm sorry. And then I'm gonna hit that, and then open a new window, okay? So everything in there, when they click there, is gonna open in a new window. So this is show it, like I said, if you don't have show it, don't worry about it. Um, but if you do have show it, this is what I do. I just duplicate the page, and then I do this, and I right click here, and then I hit, uh, I hit rename this. Actually, I'm going to rename this to backup. Backup. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to rename this to home. It's going to break existing links, but it doesn't matter. That's the backup. And this is another backup. So I have two, I have a backup of a backup because I don't like to take risk. <laughs> backup one, home backup two. Okay. So then what I'm going to do. I'm going to right click on this and set as home page. And then what I'm going to do, make sure my mobile is ready. Like I said, works different on Squarespace and other platforms. I'm just using show it. I'm going to go ahead and upload that. Click here to watch a live stream. We want to make sure that works home. And then I want to go here and I want to make sure that in my site settings where people share this link because we want people to come to our home page. We want, we don't want them to go to YouTube immediately. SEO settings, and then I'm going to do Tara and Anthony, and then I'm going to type the title, Tara and Anthony live stream. And then I'm going to go right there and do that here, and I have a metadata, do everything like that. And after I do that, I am just going to hit publish, hit publish, and we're going to be live on the website. And we'll send that to our blushing bride, and we'll go from there and we'll do a test. And there it is, click here to watch live. We'll wait for their picture to come up. There it is, Taryn Anthony, August 1, and there it is. And then it'll say set a reminder, live in 32 hours at August 1, 6 p.m. Eastern time, okay? And then you can always edit the video. You'll see the chat there. If I wanna go edit video, you just click here, and then it'll take you into YouTube Studio and I can copy and paste all this other stuff and tags and stuff like that. So hopefully this helps. I want to make sure that you get this, but I always send people to our homepage because this is how we get business. You never want to send them to YouTube or embed it here. Just too much drama. And then everybody goes there or you can set up a URL if they want a private and set up the private URL so they don't have to be a public URL and go from there. So that's how you do the live stream a setup in YouTube. Okay, all right. I just want to make sure that you all see that setup. Okay, did everybody see that, Shamisha? Am I back? I want to make sure, Shamisha, I'm back. I'm back. Yes, you are back. You are good to go. That was awesome. Okay, yeah, we are biased to show it. So when I recorded the video, <laughs> I knew I was coming. Hey, so it's the uh, best. Webinar. I don't know if everybody knew that or not, but. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I got a short sight, so I yeah, know. Yeah. So I, I'm here. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. So if you can share my screen again. Uh, so we're going to talk about that. Any questions? I see people say amazing, amazing, great. Yep, yep, Kiki. Um, my assistant, Monica, Monica Lynn. Okay, show it. Okay, we got good stuff going on. So we got all these people. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm presenting to all the people I know. Um, <laughs> that's a good thing. All right, Shamisha, so what we're going to talk about now is probably um, a few things, and, and I want to talk about uh, marketing our services. So I don't know if I went into the – let me just make sure 
that I talk about marketing our services. Let me just make sure I get to the equipment. I think that I get to equipment next. Uh, if I didn't get into it, I want to make sure. Oh, I did get into equipment, what I use. Okay, the streaming encoder and stuff like that. So perfect, perfect, perfect. So what I want to talk about is market our services. So when we market our services, we want to make sure that we put it on our show it website, okay? So you're going to put it on there because if you don't put it, so a lot of people are like, oh my God, I don't want to put it on there because if I get our inquiry, I don't know what to do. I'm from the thing, I'm from the mindset of, you're going to put it out there, and then if you get an inquiry, you're going to figure it out, okay? <laughs> and I know that's tough gospel for some of you all, but I, I'm from that mindset where you just got to figure it out, okay? Um, there are a lot of people like, I'm not a videographer. There are people who I've coached, and they didn't want to start um, offering videography. I don't, I don't know videography. Put People want video and photo packages. Figure it out, okay? And I know that's 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 weird for me to say that, but you can. It's not that hard. You can find somebody, um, you have a team, you get somebody you partner with to do to do video for you. You don't do video. If not, you're going to get a tripod, you're going to get all the gear that I recommend and put it on a stand, and you're going to test a live stream in your backyard with your kids running around, okay? So that's what you're going to do. And then once you get there or you go to a live stream or you go listen to somebody like me or somebody in your market is doing a live stream, you know what will happen? Somebody said, Chip, I want to give you $100 for your time just to come to see what you do on a live stream. Guess what I would do? I would say, surely, come, and I would take your $100, and I would teach you everything you know, and you would get a lesson on a live stream, and then you would turn that $100 into $1,000. So you have to invest in yourself, okay? There was a time when I wanted to learn something where from this guy, and I said, can I get 15 minutes of your time? And he said, that will be $100. I said, oh, my God, he must be crazy. Am I going to give him $100? for 15 minutes of this guy's time, but he was somebody I really wanted to learn from. He was really busy, and he wanted to see if I was serious. So I slid that $100 bill across the coffee, the Starbucks, years ago, and you know what? That 15 minutes turned into a lifetime, almost, of just advice and everything. He slid the $100 back to me. He wanted to see if I would invest in myself. So I want to make sure that you invest in your own education, that you invest in yourself. I'm, I want to make sure that you see me and hear my heart here because it's that important. Because there are a lot of people out here who should be on this stream who are not. And you are going to be ahead of them because they are scared, okay? It's video and they are scared. And I want to make sure you're on here for a reason. And if I don't know you and if I don't even ever meet you, this is going to help you. This is, we're in a pandemic. People need this. They need your services. Stop referring them away. Do this now. Okay, off my soapbox. All right. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, you hear that? Hear that? All right, all right, all right. How far in advance you put that on my homepage? Okay, great. I put, <laughs> all right. So you hear my little rant here. So I want to make sure if you hear my heart. But I'm passionate about this. I'm passionate about helping people. It's not all about the money people's lives will be enriched. People cannot travel. So this is what we're doing to help them be part of a special day. All right, great, great, great. <laughs> For my time. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Okay, it's a great soapbox. Okay, so about a, a day, in, pardon me, um, uh, I, I do a day in advance, okay? I do about a day in advance because I don't want it on my homepage and I don't want it on a Chip to our wedding slash you know, you know, Shamisha and so and so, or Jerry and Sarah. I don't want all that you are. I want one place. Now I have some options where I have this summer, this in this fall, where I have two streams and two different times, two different teams going two different places at one time. So I'll put one in one corner, one in the other corner, and they're both linked to a different place. Okay. But I put it the day before because everybody wants to know the URL. Okay. Everybody wants to know the URL prior to um, prior to getting started with the live stream, okay? All right, I wanna make sure that everybody has a URL. Does this make sense? All right, we're gonna go into the marketing part, it's real important. I just wanna make sure that this makes sense. And then if you value this, I want you to tag me at Instagram stories and make it viral and say, you missed it. You missed a good one because Chip was dropping knowledge and you can get the replay, but it's gonna be, you gotta get a show at site and he got a um, cash at me and Shamisha, no, I'm playing. <laughs> And Jen and everybody else <laughs> to get I'm, all this I'm information. I'm down. I'm right? down for that. I'm down for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Make you happy. She's smiling. What's up there? I said, you gotta catch up. She gets your jet. Let's see who else. James. Uh, let me think. Let me think. All the other people I know. Uh, I, I know so many people at show. See, I, I can't call him by his name. So we're gonna talk about marketing services. We're almost done. And uh, let's see. Uh, four ways to market our services. We want to use paid traffic. So I'm a big paid traffic advocate. I spoke on show it um, on this many times. And um, I'm all about Facebook, Instagram advertising. If you can do that, I'm, uh, this is not the presentation for that, but if show it will have me back, I'll talk about that in detail. So um, we can go over that on another, uh, another thing. And then SEO, that's a big thing. There's been webinars about SEO uh, at nauseum and here and all over the place. So I'm not gonna go into detail about each of these things. Um, but one thing I will tell you that's not just with you doing a paying or SEO with your time, it's partnering. That's what we do. We partner with a team. I have a picture of a team here that, that we use that you got to use somebody. Come on. You cannot do this alone. I mean, I have so many people that I know on the stream because I've worked with it before. Uh, um, there's no way I'm going to work alone. It's just, it's just, it's not going to happen. Okay. So I want you to get a team together. I know you're like, well, people are not reliable, but it's amazing how reliable people are when you start to pay them. Amazing how they show up. If they don't show up, that means they do not get paid. It's an easy equation, right? It's, it's simple. It's, it's like one plus one don't equal three, it equals two. So we, we do that. Okay, so we partner with a live stream team here. Blair's on a team. I have my team. Other people have their team. And guess what? If I can't do a live stream, I'll give it to him. If he can't do it, I'll give it to my, 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 my other guy here at uh, Paul. I'll give it to Cecil. I got so many people. Like I said, and, and this is not to brag, guys. I'm being as humble as possible. So I want you to hear my heart on this one. I, When you search wedding live stream, okay, on Google, I am on the first page, okay? So what does that mean? I get a lot of inquiries. In the month of July alone, I had 38 inquiries, okay? I'm not bragging. I'm not saying that to brag. I'm just being real. As Trinae, as anybody, we are booked all the time. I can ask Brad, you can ask um, Blair. I could send him work every day if I had to. So not to brag, but I'm saying that if you put yourself out there, I was fortunate. And if you partner with somebody, and I'm more willing to partner with somebody who is cordial to me than somebody who tries to hate on me and do something else. So, oh, he's a, he, no, guess what? I, and I don't want a referral fee for you. I'm not going to ask you for a dime when I send a referral fee, unless it's under my business. You understand what I'm saying? And that's what I want to make sure that you hear this. All right. I want to make sure you hear this. Invest in yourself. And you will get that. So it's not bragging here, being as humble as possible. But when you do the work, when you do good work, one of my former mentors said, I said, how do you get better? He's like, just do good work. I said, like, oh, my God, that's nothing. You should have told me something that I had to go to graduate school for right in this business. But he just said, do good work and your work and your gifts will make room for you. OK, I just want to make sure that you get that. And then the fourth and final thing is word of mouth. All right, so word of mouth is priceless, it's free. When people know, and they know they know that I'm doing a gig at the end of the month and a photography gig, but it's because a second shot, uh, a, a wedding, and the bride remembered me. I don't even remember who she is, but she said, oh my God, it was between me and somebody else. Not that I'm the better photographer, but it's just she remembered me. She remembered me as a second shooter, how, how cordial I was to her family. Now, when she sees me, and, you know, says hi, I probably won't know her from a can of loose eye paint. But the fact of the matter is, is that that's what happens with marketing. So I know you didn't come here for a marketing presentation, but I just want to make sure that you get that. Okay. <laughs> Gee, hey, my friend, I will never forget you. You picked me up from show at the first year. So uh, I picked me up with your car and, uh, and, and stuff like that. So, all right. So let's go about pricing. So we want to talk about money now. So here are the pricing options. All right. When you're doing live streaming, you can start in the range of $500 that you do the ceremony only, okay? And if you have multiple cameras, you have multiple things and people that want multiple things. Here's the thing that I sold today. Let me just tell you what I to told a client as of today. So this wedding, there's a bride and groom, a planner hired me, and, 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 and another pro tip. If you are working with wedding planners, you will get more money. Okay, I'm going to say it again. I'm glad you asked. If you're working with a professional wedding planner, I'm not talking about these amateur hour church coordinators here. I'm talking about professional, like Blair's wife from Being Stylish and other people, people who are professionals, okay? I want to make sure you get this here. 
that you will get more money, okay? If you're doing it without these planners, sometimes it's a little rocky because the planners, they invest more. They pay in a planner, they understand. And a planner can be your salesperson, okay? Can be your advocate, all right? I want to make sure that you know that, okay? The planner can be your advocate for all of this, all right? So I want to make sure when I have an asterisk there, I said, please know pricing is dependent on many factors, which includes where you are, your location. So I'm not going to, you can't charge if I'm in New York, what's in Baltimore, or what's in Mesa, Arizona, or Scottsdale and Phoenix compared to Dallas, Texas, compared to Chicago, Illinois. You have to know your market. I'm giving you ranges here, okay? I'm saying this is the bottom that you should be charging, and this is what you should be doing when you are doing uh, these live streams, all right? I want to make sure that you get this, okay? I'll make sure you get the ranges. So let me give you a quick story before we go. So just as of today, this is this is stuff that this, here's the thing, I'm going to give this presentation, guys. I'm not telling you stuff that is in theory. This is stuff that's actually happening to me today. When I get off this stream, I'm going to make calls and close deals, okay? So this is nothing that you don't have to worry like you're learning from somebody who doesn't practice what he preaches. You can tell. We got receipts. I got people on the stream right now who knows I'm practicing what I'm preaching, right? So clearly, I want to tell you that. So when I told the lady, I said, you know what? You had the mother-in-law is paying for the wedding. That's the first, right? The mother-in-law usually never pays for the wedding. Okay, so the mother-in-law is paying for the wedding. I'm on a Zoom call this morning, first thing this morning, nine up this morning, with a planner, the bride, and the mother-in-law. Okay, so of course the bride is like very quiet because, you know, when mom-in-law, you know, is paying for everything, you know, he who holds, he or she who holds a goal makes the rules, right? So that's what happens. So I come in, I tell the planner, I say, you know what? You have um, her brother, uh, her, her son, get married and then the mother-in-law has two daughters at huge weddings and what happened is that what what they wanted to have a huge wedding but of course it's in september i want to say september october probably october i can't remember the date but anyway it's during travel season where people can, still can't travel a lot of our stuff has been rescheduled you know from february i mean from from march on okay into next year but they didn't want to cancel next year so i said well you know what instead we can do the live stream but let's let's actually make a little production out of it. So what we're going to do, we use a screen, Sling Studio. We're going to go and film them prior to the wedding, the bride and groom, and then use that as a pre-roll video, okay? A pre-roll video to show on the live stream, all right? So you got to think out of the box, ways to make more money. So I'm going to charge way more money for that because that means me and my team have to go to the bride and groom's house, film them. I have to send it to the editor, edit it. You understand what I'm saying? So think about ways. Never say no. Say yes, but I'll figure it out, okay? Never say no. Unless it's something like graphic design or something you can't do in Canva. You know, uh, designers don't kill me if you're on here. Sorry, not sorry, okay? So, um, you know, you want to make sure, say yes, but I'll figure it out. All right, I want to make sure that you get all this. I'm talking about pricing, guys. So any questions about pricing? So I usually just do the pricing for the ceremony. The sweet spot for me is between... Uh, 700 and maybe 950, depending on how long I'm there. But remember, they're not paying you for your time. Photographers, videographers, we have to get out of the mindset that time for money. They're not paying you for your time. I want to make sure I'm ardently clear here. They're paying you for your expertise. Okay? All right? I want you to, to say, I'm going to say that again. I put that in chat. They're not paying you for your time. They're paying you for your expertise. I'm charging you a dollar because I, that's what I do. I'm charging you $999 because I know what to do, okay? All right, I was at a stream situation this Saturday and Trinae can, can attest to that fact the stream went haywire. What did I do? I figured it out and I shot the wedding as a first photographer. I figured it out because they pay me, okay? Like the motivational speaker says, they don't pay you for 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 what you know. They, it's war. I mean, they pay you because they you know what to do when times get tough. Okay, that 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 mind shift. I want to make sure you get paid a dollar, and then you get paid nine hundred ninety nine dollars because you know what to do. Okay, and how to troubleshoot it. All right, good. Off of my soapbox there. All right. So questions. That's all I have here today. But Shamisha, I want you to put that link in the a chat for me um, before we go to questions. Shamisha, if you could put that link in there, it's chip. Dizard.com slash live stream. It's chipdizard.com 
slash live stream. My time is almost up as I, I didn't want to really go a whole hour, but I got passionate talking a little bit. So I want to make sure that you see what I see. Should That's all there? right to get passionate. I'm like, preach over here. I'm, I, I like it. I like it. <laughs> No, that's awesome. I mean, you answered the questions as you were going through um, your um, presentation. Um, a couple of things is uh, towards the end right now, you were kind of talking about like that figure it out mentality. Um, I know stuff can go haywire all the time. How did you get that mentality of just kind of figure it out? Is there like certain books you read? Is there certain people that you've plugged into or listened to that helps you just with that mindset, you know? Yeah, I think that in life, I think when you, um, you know, when you're not giving a lot of stuff, and I didn't grow up particularly like, you know, I don't have a hard life. I don't have a story where, you know, I ate on trash cans or did anything like that. I think it's just a mindset of where that I wanted to be excellent. And I think that where excellence is no accident and, and all the books and stuff that you, you can read, and I have a ton of books I read, but it's more of when you see, when you see, something that's excellent, mediocrity does not, you won't settle. Mm -hmm. And then it was so mind shifting when my mentor would told me to get better. I was like, man, you must be crazy. Just get better. What do you mean by that? Just get better. I mean, that's not good advice to me. Mm -hmm. I wrote it off, but then I started to get better. And then once I started to get better, your checks change. You understand what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like when you start to get better, people treat you differently. You, you understand what I'm saying? So you don't wait and hope for people to treat you differently. You have to make that change yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I want to make sure. Okay. You want to talk more about the video. So mm -hmm. let me stop the motivation. Let me talk about the video of the Terra deck. I have a video about it that I want to send to everybody who registered that. So I don't have it on me, but I want to show you, uh, let me see if I can share my, my screen. Um, it's on here. So don't grab my free streaming download. Um, I want to talk about a video. So the video is what I use most of the time for those basic live streams. So um, it's very easy. Um, it's about, it's, it's about $1,000, maybe less. I don't know, depending on which version you get. And uh, let me see if I can share this part of my screen. Should be sure. Hold on. Let me just see if I can share this part of my screen. And let's see. Let's stop sharing. Let's see. Switch window. And let's see. Let's see. Can we see my whole screen? Can we see my whole screen? So, all right, so this is what I'm gonna talk about. This is a Terra Deck v VDU. I'm not gonna play the video because it's not gonna to play too well, but um, if you can see my screen, um, I'm gonna send this video out with a hot spot. This is me at a um, at a live stream, okay? All right, with a, can you, I don't know, I wanna make sure you all can see this, Shemisha. Can you see my screen, Shemisha? Yep, you're good, we can see your screen. Okay. All right. Good, 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 good. Okay. So what we're doing. All right. So I'm just going to go through and just show, let's see what I can do. The Teradex settings. I have a Teradex setting. So I'm using a, um, a Wi-Fi, a, a HDMI. And when I'm using that on the back of that, I'm actually connecting right to, to it. You can't really see it in the back. Okay. So I want to show you right here. Um, here's a screen grab of it. So you have an HDMI right here cord and it plugs into a, a mini HDMI. And then we have SDI. This is a more, uh, a more expensive uh, uh, Terra Deck video that I have. And then this is a wired cord right here. And then you have, I plug my audio in here and then I plug, um, you can plug a microphone in there as well, then the charger. So in the antenna. So that is uh, the settings right here for, for the V. For the video. And then um, I have a video that I will show. I'm not going to go into it on this live stream, but if you're interested in it, I can also send it along and show you how to set it up just from jump. So I have all this thing, how to set it up. This is me actually filming. Since I knew I was going to teach on this, I had um, um, some of my people uh, do some behind the scenes on me on this, or this is more of the technical thing. Okay. So um, I just want to stop there, screen share. So it's basically an HDMI. Uh, output that you plug in. Everybody knows what HDMI is, right? So it's an HDMI into your camera and an HDMI into the streaming video. Same thing with the Sling Studio that I say. The Sling Studio is better if you have multiple cameras and you're bringing a video in there, more of a production. The video is good if you just have one camera and you're just 
uh, streaming one thing and just this, no other kind of um, cameras, no other kind of sources. All right. So awesome. if you're starting out the video, I'm sorry. No, I was just saying that's awesome. That's good information. I just want to make sure. Yeah, so, we have one more um, question that popped up in the chat. Um, it says, do you get video and audio sync issues? Never. I, I never. So if you go to my YouTube, type in Chip Bizarre Studios and check me out and l l go look at my streams and you'll see they're crystal clear. So go look at what I have and you can see, just Google me and go on YouTube and type Chip Bizarre Studios. You'll see all my streams right on there. And you tell me if they're video sync issues, Okay. And I have no dropouts or no, everything I'm telling you works, guys. And I know you're not, you're not, you're not questioning me, but I'm telling you, I, I don't have that. So, um, and if I do, I make sure that I use a, a wireless microphone, but I don't have a uh, video, even with a, a Wi-Fi, um, a, um, what do you call it? Not Wi-Fi. What do you call these things? Uh, hotspot connection. I don't have those kind of uh, issues. So, no. Uh-uh. Awesome. Yep. Now, so you see, mentioned you have, like, a list of the stuff that you talked about. Um, where can people find – is it at chipdizzard.com slash live stream? Is that where they can find the list of things that you talked about in your talk today? Yep. Can you go ahead and put that in the chat for me? Yep, I put it in there. I'll put it in there again for you. Um, and once again, guys, we recorded this so you can always come back um, to Chip's talk. Um, and get all of this information again. But guys, add this to your repertoire. Why not? You know, this is the time to do it. Um, and Chip gave you everything that you need to move forward with this. So Chip, that was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's and if this fun. helps, thank you, thank you, thank you. In the chat, if you did your first one, try it, get the equipment, rent it. Actually, you don't even have to buy it. Shamisha, you can rent this from Lens Rentals or Lens Pro to go. That's, a, go. that's the, the thing. So some people say, I don't have $1,000. I get it. Money is tight. Rent it. That's what I did. I rented the stuff before I bought it. Yep. Okay? So you go on Lens Rentals or Lens Pro to go and rent the stuff that I say, and then you test it out yourself. But there you go. will make your money back. I was nervous as well to buy all this other equipment. But you make your money back immediately. Okay, awesome. Well, guys, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to Chip at, on Instagram at Chip Dizzard. Um, but also remember, don't forget hashtag stream with Chip. Um, he would love to see everybody on there. But any more questions, guys, go to Chip. He's more than welcome to answer them. Um, and Chip, thank you so much for educating everyone today. That was so, so awesome. Thank you for having me. I'm so fortunate to be a partner with a great company at Show It. So I'm, I'm really, really fortunate to be with you all. Thank awesome. You. Awesome, guys. Well, that's all we have for today. Um, we'll see you next time on the webinar. Thanks for joining us today.